I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your midday market update. Well, a day after the Fed made their big decision, kind of a yawner here today. All the indices are down, but not terribly so. Volume is light. And joining me now is Mark Noon because he's got some good news, what he's seen in his charts from Gray Wolf. Mark, you said you're looking at the charts, you, you're trying to find some sign of correction, but it really doesn't look like it's there. No, it's funny. Every time you try to short stocks, I mean, you see these big one-day surges, it basically makes people have to cover their shorts and get long again. And, you know, we never really got under the key levels to suggest that a bigger move to the downside was, was going to come along. And, you know, now you see recent strength in industrials and financials. And so you see this sector rotation. And despite the fact you have fewer stocks hitting new high territory, uh, the indices continue to remain afloat despite, you know, fewer and fewer stocks participating. So that's it's a bigger warning sign. But for now, you know, the trends are still bullish. Uh, interest rates continue continue to move up and that's a little bit of a concern. It's still affecting utilities and the REITs and some of the interest rate serving uh, sectors. Uh, China embarking on their own sort of tapering, you know, and, and they didn't inject any money in their banks and you see the shy bore and the swap rates up at, at the highest level since September. So it's interesting that, you know, globally you're seeing uh, at least a few signs of rates ticking up. Now you did say that you expected that stocks had a good uh, move probably for the first six months of 2014, then it might get a little dodgy after that. Is that true? No, I think that's right, because you haven't really seen the negatives be taken away from the market that were basically been in place since May and June. And a lot of that has to do with fewer stocks hitting new highs and you know this slow amount of divergence that you see in a daily and a weekly basis. And, and those are still concerns. Sentiment right now has reached very optimistic levels, and that's only going to continue now that the market seems to be more comfortable with the fact that if we taper slowly, it's not going to be detrimental. There's, not, there's no dislocation, and you know stocks have managed to rally even in the face of this tapering. So if anything, investors, I think, are more enthusiastic and that's definitely a concern when you see, you know, these, these sentiment polls blow out to the highest levels we've seen in the last few years. So my thinking is uh, the market probably stays afloat until springtime. You might have a small dip and then a rally back to highs, March, April time frame. Uh, next season, uh, in terms of spring and summer, it should be a lot worse, I think, for stocks. All right. Well, I wonder if I'm going to have to get my Dow 20,000 cap ready before the summer. That's Mark Newton from Grey Wolf. And I'm Deborah Borchart with The Street.